Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano just barely came out of the shop. It's it's one of uh, one of these that I'm I'm particularly proud of. Um, we work on lots and lots of pianos every single day, and we we churn them out um, with some regularity. And this one's a special one. This one's quite unusual. We've been working on this one for um, I don't know the last maybe four months, something like that. Possibly as as many as six months. And, and I would say as far as uh, cosmetic, I'll get to the guts and kind of the inner functioning of the piano, but strictly cosmetically, this one is one of the, one of the most beautiful pianos that, that, we've, that we've done in a long time. So uh, again, strictly cosmetics, we've refinished it and it's just like super smooth and you can go over it with a fine tooth comb and, and it's just in immaculate condition cosmetically um, not only not only the wood and the texture of the wood but also the the finishing touches like the knobs and the um, the heart metal hardware um, the hinges of course the pedals and this trim piece here all of that is is completely um, replated and then kind of continuing on with the the cosmetics. This this decal here. This is not original because we've sanded it down. This is a, a replica of the decal that was there originally. Um, that was that was put on in 1910 originally when this piano was was first manufactured. Um, okay, keys keys are redone, sharps are redone. So you know again the cosmetics of this piano are a plus, no question. Okay, now onto the inside. Uh, this piano was immaculately cleaned, um, and and by that, what I'm referring to is uh, the we take the action out, we take the keys out, we take all of the cabinetry out, we take the the bottom panel off, the pedals, um, so everything is totally exposed, and it's and this is a this is a several day process where we scour the strings, and we we clean every. Um, every nook and cranny uh, on the piano, soda blast the action, which, which if, if you've ever seen sand blasting, well sand, sand is too abrasive for wood, um, so we use baking soda, which is like a fine powder, uh, abrasive but still very fine, and so it just gets in everything in the action and just cleans it out when it's under high pressure and it's immaculately clean. And take this off. This is all rebuilt down here. Everything down here is called the trap work, and that's all been rebuilt. You can see how beautiful and clean that is. All of those parts have been polished and sanded, and new felt, new leather. Everything properly lubricated and regulated and tightened. Perfect condition. Then let's get uh, let's get a peek in here. What we've done on the instrument is we've replaced the hammers, we've replaced the dampers, we've replaced the shanks, the bridle straps, the bushings, um, and we've repinned all of the hammer butts. And then of course we've done a full regulation. Regulation is everything from ensuring that that distance right there is an eighth of an inch where it goes close to the string and it pulls away. Um, that's an eighth of an inch on all of these, which is proper regulation. We've also, um, this is kind of a, a side note, on these older pianos, the dampers, which are right here, as I push the pedal, the dampers are what are coming up there. Um, in 1910, the old style of dampers, they weren't as functional as uh, modern tastes would prefer. And so what we've done is we've, in the base, we've used much longer dampers. The, the original dampers used to be uh, about half or, or two-thirds approximately the size of the current dampers, which makes them much more effective. And we've also used um, uh, tricord dampers um, on the, in, in this section, which, which they used to, this piano originally, and most pianos from this era you had flat dampers, which, uh, which was not as effective. So the dampening on this piano is much better than, than you find in, in most pianos from this era. So that's kind of a modification that we do that, that makes it more 
um, up to modern tastes. Okay, so let's just listen to it. So the piano's in perfect condition. I'm so enjoyed about how this one turned out, and I don't think it's going to last very long. My experiences, any guide there. There's a nice big booming sound, which you would expect. This is an enormous piano size wise. Again, not only do we not see pianos this beautiful and very often, but also this size is 59 inches, very, very rare um, to have a, a piano that, that big. deep rich tone and it's an effortless effortless tone I think that whoever gets this piano is going to be a very, very lucky family. Give me a call if you want to, if you have any questions about this one, if you want to come in and see it, or um, any questions about really anything that we do in the shop, whatever you want. Uh, the store number here is 801-701-0113. Or uh, if you want to just come in and play it, the address is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.